Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to enable the secure boot and EUFI on Lenovo IdeaPad S145. Right now secure boot is one of the most compulsory things to do if you would like to install uh, Windows 11 and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you it's pretty simple. There are two ways to get into BIOS first for this model. Okay, uh, by the way, this is my EFI based bootable Windows 10 thumb drive. Okay, so as I said, the IdeaPad S145 does have dual system to get into BIOS, one of them F2, and another one, the Novo button, which is on right hand side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep pressing F2 after restart. And now as you can see, the main uh, BIOS screen comes up. Now let's say if your F2 doesn't work or if not functional, then how can you get into BIOS? I'm going to show you. On right hand side, right next to the headphone jack connector, if you can see there is a little hole there, which is called Nobo button. There is a button behind uh, the body, I mean inside the body. So once you use any sort of SIM ejector tool and click it, the system would turn on and it will take you directly to this Nobo button menu. Okay, so from here now, as you can see the information bar, there is all about your machines. There is nothing else to do about secure boot. And then we'll check in the configuration. Hopefully there is nothing else in configuration as well, because both of them is all about um, the machine details and to change date and time and something like that. Nothing more important to do about the boot option. Now let's go into configuration and check by the way. Okay, so if you click the right arrow, as you can see, there is all about, you know, wireless things and then date and time. But on security, as you can see, the secure boot, which is right now disabled. So you need to hit enter and make it enable to make it enable. And that is not all about, there is one more option you must need to care about, which is the boot mode. If the boot mode in legacy, then secure boot wouldn't work it would not functional so if your one is legacy then choose the UFI hit enter now whatever you done to save the changes like what we done to save it we need to press F10 now some machines doesn't work only F10 you need to press and hold F and key and then F10 okay by the way it should take only F10 if it doesn't you can give it a try in that way now your uh, Lenovo IdeaPad S145 is ready to reinstall either Windows 10 in EVFI environment or Windows 11, whatever you want. Just for example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install Windows 10 on it. I'll show you how to do that in EVFI mode. It's pretty simple. Everything is same. You just need to change the setting, what we already did. And now I'm going to leave it on so you can see the rest of the video. Hopefully you would enjoy. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to show your support. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. So let's carry on. Speed of this installation depend on hardware prospect of your laptop. So as you can see now, we can see the Windows installation page. Now you can choose whatever you want to choose. For me, United Kingdom. So I'm going to choose it. Hit next and install now. So it's going to take a little bit of time, few seconds. As you can see, it says setup is starting. Okay, so here is also another confusion. If you see it doesn't move, just give it a little bit of time. It should be back to normal. I had to pause the video because it took almost a few minutes. You know, now as you can see, accept the terms and condition, hit next. Now there are two options as you can see. If you'd like to do the clean installation, you have to go for the custom one. And then as you can see, there are two partitions. I'm going to delete both of them. Remember, if you want to delete your one, then you're going to lose the data, existing data. So make sure if you have any important data, back it up first before you get into this process. And the second one, so we're going to delete it. Now there is only one partition, but if you would like to create more than one partition, you can click on the new and choose the amount and apply. But I'm going to keep only one because this is such a small SSD. I don't want to make two partitions. Now the actual setup has started. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to play it fast forward just to show you. And the actual setup finalization 
would begin. So in here, I would suggest you not to connect to Wi-Fi because if you do that, it's going to take so long time, you know, to take all the updates and everything, security checkup and to give you the latest update. So I always avoid to connect to Wi-Fi while I do the setup. Okay, so now it's going to take a couple of restart and then everything would be back to normal. We don't have to do anything. It's super simple now.